Futures uh, a little bit uh, soggy here, Jim. Um, that claims number today was uh, better than we thought it might be, but still a million plus for the 20th straight week. We had ADP miss. We had the employment component of ISM services still in contraction. What does that mean for tomorrow? Well, when I listened to, to uh, Senator McConnell and know that we may not have a deal, what it says to me is there was a lot of uh, – let's say, pent-up hope that was unleashed yesterday. There were two, two components to yesterday's rally. One was that we're getting closer and closer to a workable vaccine, but the other is that we're getting closer and closer to a deal. Carl, if we don't have a deal, we've got to have a sell-off. I mean, it, it, it's not like we can just avoid a deal and say it doesn't matter. Uh, and that's what I'm concerned about. And, David, I don't know how, how far apart you think they're going to be, but if we don't get a deal, it can't be the same as getting a deal. No, it can't. Uh, and it would be... Uh, it would be a significant blow to this economy. I think that's fair to say, Jim. Uh, we all know that, which is why we're focused on it. Looking forward to your interview with Speaker Pelosi to get Thank that you. side and see just how far apart or close they are. Uh, obviously, the numbers indicate they are still far apart, but there is area for compromise, one would expect. And there are a great many millions and millions of people in this country who are depending on that.